Hey y'all, it's your girl LT back for another video. So today's video, I'm going to do part two of my child free tag video. If you're interested in listening to the part one of this video, then the link will be in the description down below, which I uh, uploaded last week, but I wanted to do the part two of the questions of my child free tag. And just again, just giving you guys a better uh, better information about the reasons why I am child free, learning about my past and learning about, you know, what made me come to the decision of being uh, child free. So um, again, I'm going to put the link for part one down in the description. I'm going to go ahead and answer the questions for part two. So it's going to be about, I would say 10 questions here that I'm going to go over and answer for you guys. And again, hopefully it'll be a, it'll give you guys a better idea about why I am child free. Um, just a little disclaimer, um, in the part one video, the last question that I answered was, is your current partner child free as well? Um, I basically told you guys that I was not seeing anyone at the, at the time, but um, I think it's super important to let the person you are talking to, if you guys both wanna be child free, I think it's important to get that out of the way very early in your relationship. I actually had an old friend of mine who was dating somebody. She wanted to be child free, but the guy that she was seeing, he wanted children in the future. But they were dating for many, many years and they come to the conclusion that they just weren't right for each other down the road. So I think it's super important to let you let the future partner know uh, if you don't want children and that person does want children, I think it's super important to just let them know, you know, early in advance that you don't want any children. It's super important to let them know. Um, that way you guys are not wasting each other's time. If you feel like you guys are not going to be compatible down the road, then um, it's just better to let them know way early in advance before you guys become official as a couple. So there's a little, di little disclaimer about that. Um, and hopefully if I do meet somebody, hopefully that person will also be child free. And um, if not, if they do have children, I suggest that they, I want them to be older and hopefully out of the house. I don't want to date nobody with young kids. I really don't. <laughs> and you'll, you'll uh, see that as well. I have a video as well about the top three, the top five reasons why I don't want to date men with children. And that is also going to be linked in the description down below for you to check out as well in case you're interested. So let me go ahead and just uh, finish the rest of the questions. So again, it's going to be about 10 questions here that I'm going to finish off this child free tag. So here we go. Question number one. Is it possible to be in a happy, fulfilling relationship without children? I absolutely think so. I think that couples without children are a lot less stressed when it comes to dealing with their own uh, life. Well, of course, it's gonna be stressed when it comes to probably doing stuff for work, but to dealing with the stress of their their home life, their personal life, I think it's uh, very, I think it's super important to have that to be as stress-free as possible because you're going through a lot when it comes to your job, but it's like, we have to come home and deal with the stress of your children, what they're going through and stuff. I just think that, you know, uh, couples can live a very fulfilling life without children outside of whatever work they're doing. So yes, it is possible to be in a fulfilling relationship. I think actually people who don't have kids probably have a better outcome when it comes to their relationship. I think their, their relationship and marriages last longer because they don't, don't have to deal with the stress of children. Um, define parenthood in one word. Stressful. <laughs> stressful. It's very, very stressful. Um, I've seen too many times whether I'm out and about, whether I'm with family or just, you know, people, my coworkers, I see it all the time that when they come to work, they're just so stressful and tired all the time. And I'm like, I don't want to go to work like that. I want to be able to be you know, a spring chicken when I go to work. I want to be vibrant and alive and alert and not down and stressed and, and exhausted because I had to take care of my child from the previous night. I ain't got to worry about that. And, you know, just being out and about if I'm out somewhere and I see people who are struggling and stressed out with their kids, they're crying and they're wanting stuff all the time and pulling on you and tugging on you. And I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that at all. So yes, I think parenthood is very stressful. Um, do you think you would be a good parent? Why or why not? I think I would be a good parent. I just think that I know right now at this point in my life that parenthood is just not for me. But if I were to ever, you know, be a parent for whatever reason, I think that, um, I think I would be a good parent. That's why it's so important to also have a good partner with you. You need that support system. It's super important to have that two parent household for that child because I see so many struggles, uh, struggle single parents out here and I don't know how they do it. I really truly don't. I really don't and I'm just so I'm so thankful that out of my uh, 36 years on this earth that I've never gotten pregnant I've never had to deal with any abortions or anything like that and I'm just so thankful that I never just had to deal with that in my life and I'm just it's so important to have a two-parent household with these kids nowadays it's just so so important um number let's see number three 
I think it's some, yeah, sorry, number four. Do you have pets and do you think that you would transfer the nurturing and love intended for a child onto your pets? I currently do not have any pets, but if I do meet someone down the road, I probably would like to have a dog. Um, I don't think that having a dog right now, especially being a single person, um, a single woman like myself who likes to kind of, you know, have the freedom to get up and go, I don't think it's really a good idea to have a dog because most dogs that they're very, um, most dogs can be very clingy and you always got to make time to always go back home and make sure they're fed, make sure they're out for walks and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's super important to, for single people who, um, who you know who don't want pets or actually they do want pets i think it's super important to make sure they have that support to take care of the pet um i i probably would transfer that nurturing part of me you know onto my pet if i ever have a dog in the future but as a single woman right now who likes to get up and go i think it's uh, important for me to not have a pet but if i do meet somebody down the road i would like to have a dog once i get um you know serious with someone um which child free stereotype do you not fit in i think most child-free stereotypes I hear is that we are very selfish, and I know that I'm not a selfish individual. I think there's some selfish, selfish uh, qualities about me once in a while, but I'm not an overall selfish human being. If there's something that you know my family needs or a friend needs, I'm there for them if I can offer that. But at the same time, I was also establish boundaries for myself to where I'm not being taken advantage of, and I don't think that's selfish at all. To me, selfishness is when it comes to parenthood. You want a baby because you want somebody to take care of you when you get older. I think to me that's very selfish because there's no guarantee your child's gonna wanna take care of you when you get older. So to have that mindset, oh yeah, you're gonna take care of me. That's not gonna always be the case because you got some kids out here who have no problem not taking care of their parents. So, uh, but I'll answer that uh, question as well down, the, down a little bit further in the video. But yeah, I think it's very selfish for people who want kids only because they want somebody to take care of them. That's selfish right there. Um, is it hard to find a child-free partner? I don't think so. Depending on where you live, I don't think it's hard to find a child-free partner. Um, currently where I live, I have talked to some guys in the past that are also child-free. Um, I made that crystal clear that I do not want any children, so I try to talk to guys who are child-free. So where I'm at, it's not very difficult. Um, I, like I said, it just depends on what the city that you're in, but for me, I don't think it's difficult for me. Which label do you prefer, child-free or childless? I prefer the term child free. I think childless people, um, I think childless people who they want children, but for whatever reason, they're not able to have it at this time. But I think child free means I am free of children. I don't want them. I don't want them in my life like that. So that's, uh, that's really me right now, just being child free. Uh, or I think childless also can mean that you're barren or that you have uh, no financial nothing financially saved to where you can afford a child but uh child free people know good and well that yo we don't want no children regardless of our situation we don't want kids okay so that's that's me right now i'm child free um do you actively encourage the people around you to think about their reproductive choices um I, I don't. I don't bluntly just tell them about their child-free choices. If they ask me for my opinion about it, depending on what their situation is, I will give them my honest opinion. But to bluntly let them know, or especially if they never asked me or gave me your ask for my opinion, I want to just let them. I want to tell them about their reproductive choices like that. I think everybody does have a choice to have children or not. I think some people don't know, realize that they have a choice, but. Um, but if a friend of mine or somebody asks me, hey, what do you think about me having a kid or do you think it's a good idea? I will let them know, depending on the situation, if it's a good idea or not. I would. But uh, if they never asked me for my opinion now, I won't give it to them. So. Next question. Are you worried about who will take care of you when you are old? I used to think about that when I was younger. But now that I'm older and I see what's stuff that's going on in this world today, um, I don't think about that anymore. Um, you know, I really just try to stay focused on making sure, that's why I think it's super important to make sure that financially you're good to go. Um, that's why I'm really starting now to really try to invest and to make, do as much savings as I possibly can because you don't ever, you never know what the future is gonna hold. And um, again, I think it's, uh, again, like I mentioned earlier, I think it's really selfish for people to have children because they want somebody to take care of them. And there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee your child's gonna take care of you because we have so many nursing homes right now that you can go talk to an older person and ask them, you know, hey, why isn't your child here taking care of you? And they'll give you whatever story they can give you. Um, you know, your, you and your child can have a falling out. You, your child may want to move and relocate. You know, your child can do this, this, that, and the other. And there's no, no, no guarantee. 
there's no guarantee anything in life that especially when it comes to having your child take care of you so um i used to think about that but now at this current part of my life i don't i just realized that i think, I think it's super important to have a great financial nest egg uh early in advance because if you decide that you want to go to a nice nursing home or if you can afford to live alone and maybe have a nurse come in and take care of you or i may just end up living like the golden girls like <laughs> just give me a room for rent and i can just live in a big house with uh elderly people and we can live in our house together so do something like that um but other than that yeah i don't think about um who's going to take care of me as long as i'm in good health as long as i have the money uh financially i can afford to live by myself and not have to deal with uh have a, have a child take care of me then i'm good to go with that and the last question what is the best part about being child free having my peace <laughs> having my peace and quiet and my space to myself not have to worry about taking care of a child when i get home from work i have the freedom to come and go as i see fit and it's just it's so peaceful i love the freedom of it i love to have my money be my money and not have to worry about spending it on a child i love the um like i said just the overall just mental peace and just not having to deal with the stress of having a child um i also am thankful for being child free because um you know having my parents as well that are both still alive by the grace of god and um if i if they ever need me for anything if i have to take care of them when they're older then i'll do what i need to do but i'm just so thankful and blessed that you know i still have my both my parents are still alive i have an older sister as well and um, but if they ever need me for anything that i'll be there for them so that's something that i'm thankful for for not being child free i don't have to worry about the extra time i have to deal with taking care of a child but because i can't take care of the rest of my relatives you know i can't do that so but um yeah so that's the end of the child free tag those are the rest of the questions so i just want to also say this before i end the video um i think a lot of people who are child free have a have sometimes may have a struggle when it comes to knowing their purpose like what do, what do they want to do in their life now if they don't want to be parents um but i think it's super important to find that purpose as well while you're child free because you don't want to go go around this world and not know what you were really made to be on this planet for regardless of what that is whether you want to take care of other individuals whether you want to take care of other children that's on this earth whether you want to take care of animals whether you want to i don't know just be in health and wellness you know i know a couple of people who are in, in, into that they're into like yoga and you know just taking care of their health and wellness that's something that's very important too um and i was thinking about some like some of the child free celebrities as well who are also out there i was thinking about you know oprah winfrey jennifer aniston you know other celebrities who are child free and they're in their purpose so it's like you know why can't we also be in our purpose why why can't we honestly think about saying hey i don't want children that's fine but you know i also have this going on in my life and that, that i think it's super important to really um know what your purpose is without having children and um if other people have a problem with you being child free just let them know hey i don't want children because the way this world is today is jacked up and i don't want to bring a child into this mess so uh luckily i've never really had any issues with anybody really asking me why i don't have children um it's just this is not something i want as a part of my life and i don't see myself changing my mind anytime soon so um, I just want to point that out there. I think it's super important to just know your purpose while you're here. And there's other things that you can be doing with your life besides taking care of a child. And, um, you know, I just really think that especially as more women are coming uh, together, more black women, is especially I'm seeing a lot more black women coming together saying, hey, this is not the lifestyle that I want. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I don't want children. If you don't want to date somebody with children, that is your own personal choice as well. So um, I just want to point that out there as well, that, you know, it's so important to find your purpose and just make sure that you are surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who also feel the same way you do when it comes to having children and knowing your, what your purpose is. So that's the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, uh, everybody who's uh, subscribed to my channel. I think I started out with uh, like 30 subscribers now I have almost 70 so thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to my channel I would like to reach maybe a hundred subscribers by the end of the year that would be my goal um, so if you like the video if you want to see more content about being child free or anything with lifestyle please uh, comment down below like comment and subscribe share my videos uh, share it as much as you can um, like I said I would like to reach to maybe a hundred subscribers by the end of the year that'd be great so I also have an email if you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, if you have anything, any video topics you want me to discuss as well, please comment down down below. And you can also email me. I just set up an, a new mailbox. So it's ltitsme86 at yahoo.com. Just like my my uh, YouTube channel name, ltitsme86 
86 at yahoo.com. That's the email address. You can also um, email me if you have any questions, comments, concerns. If you have any video topics you want me to talk about, that would be wonderful. Okay. So thank you so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you.